लाइक एप्पल डोमिनेटिंग हाफ ऑफ द फोन मार्केट गूगल शुड डोमिनेट द रेस्ट सिंस इट ओन्स एंड्रॉयड इवन माई फर्स्ट एंड्रॉयड फोन वॉज गूगल एच टी सी रीम बट सरप्राइजिंगली इट्स सैमसंग दैट सेट द टोन एंड ऑल अदर एंड्रॉयड फ्लैगशिप्स आर कंपेयर टू इट द लास्ट फ्लैगशिप ऑफ गूगल इज द पिक्सल नाइन प्रो एक्स एल एंड द लास्ट सैमसंग फ्लैगशिप फोन इज द गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी फोर अल्ट्रा In this video I will compare all aspects of these phones from the design of the two phones screen and display quality battery life and thermals and camera and video quality both in daylight and at night I am Ali a tech reviewer and I will do my best to be impartial I bought both of these phones with my own money and i don't have any strings attached to samsung or google the frame is very premium and in general the pixel 9 pro x l is a flagship quality like the samsung galaxy s24 ultra pixel also feels more robust and durable this time i dropped it a few times already and it has no scratch or chipping unlike my pixel 8 pixel 9 pro x l is smaller than the galaxy and is more the size of the S24 plus the edges look more like the iPhone 15 and S24 plus and are more rounded than edgy it's again kind of nice since it's easier to hold in my hand even though i have already gotten used to the sensation of S24 ultra piercing my face they both have a punch hole and i feel the one on pixel is slightly bigger than the S24 ultra Looking at the back pixel has a more noticeable camera bump at the same time Samsung has more cameras to be exact it has one more which is a 3x telephoto lens while pixel 9 pro and pro x l only have a 5x telephoto lens this year google improved a few things with the new pixel phone the most important is the fingerprint scanner they finally made it ultrasonic this year which is faster better and less annoying It's similar to the S24 Ultra fingerprint scanner. There is a slight difference in that in S24 Ultra you actually can actually turn on the phone by just putting your fingerprint on the screen, while on Pixel you have to turn the screen on before doing that, which is another step and I wish they also opted for the same approach as the S24 Ultra. Pixel 9 XL Pro has another significant improvement the screen. They are using the latest and best panel from Samsung which is M14 and is even more new than the Galaxy S24 panel. There is a difference though the panel is not anti reflective like the Galaxy S24 Ultra but can get brighter. But both are readable on a typical sunny day and you won't find any issues. In the most extreme case of direct sunlight in AUG at noon from my experience the S24 Ultra has a bit of an edge over the Pixel 9 Pro XL. While the Pixel reflects a lot of light, the S24 Ultra lets you read at least some parts of the screen, and that's where the anti-reflective display shines. Or to be more precise, it does not shine, which is a good thing. Moving on to the battery test, both have very similar battery capacities. Many folks, including myself, reported that the S24 Ultra battery is not as good as it was a few months ago. to be more fair to the S24 Ultra I did a clean factory reset before the test I charged them to 100% and disconnected them from Wi-Fi so they both run on 5G on the same network both have the same screen brightness and I'm also running the apps to measure the phone's thermals and power consumption I run different types of content on YouTube including shorts and full videos in 720p format to see which drains the battery faster and which gets hotter to my surprise by the end of this part of the test test the pixel 9 xl pro was 2 degrees cooler than the s24 ultra and had more battery this is interesting because traditionally tensor chipsets are very inefficient also pixel phones before pixel 9 did not have any vapor chamber which means the heat dissipation was abysmal Now they have a vapor chamber that works great and keeps the temperature lower. 
Another thing I should mention is that the S24 Ultra chipset is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 which is much more powerful and contributes to more battery usage. As I mentioned the Pixel Tensor G4 is not as powerful as the S24 Ultra which can lead to less power consumption. To know exactly how much more powerful the S24 Ultra is, I ran the Antutu benchmark which measures almost everything about your phone performance. By the end of the test, ES24 Ultra got nearly 16.5 million while Pixel 9 Pro XL got 12 million million. That's 30% higher score for S24 Ultra which is quite significant. That means Pixel Tensor G4 is roughly two generations behind in raw power compared to Snapdragon. It's the same story when it comes to gaming and GPU. I also took lots of videos and pictures to see which phone is the king of cameras for Android phones. I took all the videos on 4K 30fps and the settings are the default ones. The only one that I changed is I made the aspect ratio to 16.9 instead of the default 3. It's actually interesting to see how different these two phones are processing the images and videos pixel has a bit more digital and AI looks to it while S24 Ultra has a more saturated and vibrant tone. When it comes to pictures, the difference during daytime is very minimal. To summarize the video, the Pixel 9 Pro XL is a great improvement over the Pixel 8 Pro. The new vapor chamber means the phone stays cooler even compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The battery life is slightly better than the S24 Ultra especially after the S24 Ultra updates and a bit of battery drain that users are experiencing. The pictures are more neutral and color science is simply better. At the same time the S24 Ultra has a 3x telephoto lens and does a better job with autofocus. Also Galaxy S24 Ultra has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 which is arguably a more powerful chipset than the Tensor G4 from Pixel 9 Pro XL. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning into 5M Tech and I will see you in the next one.